it's funny you open up uh, Beyonce's internet, it just gets weird. Um, Beyonce's internet. That, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to <laughs> no. Unless you calling that the <laughs> she ain't no but employee. You know, it, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these I things. I don't just. nobody want to accept the bitch. bitch. I think she's she went and <laughs> the girl cats. <sighs> Okay. A girl went to court and charged her with extreme crap. She she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her while she was asleep. No snacking on his bitch. People cats. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician and she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music, handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington, Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington, who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Impulse control issues. Don't know. What makes you so vocal? Like, I'm tired. He just. I like, didn't want to skip to the end. All this shit is fucked up. All you is is weird. Go to the jail and let's move on and let Generation Z make their own problems, make their own choices. These kids are living the consequences of what Gen X did and don't even know why they're doing it because everyone's lying. So corporate I, takeoff's death wasn't nothing but a corporate hostile takeover using his life as the god oh my god man RP takeoff <sighs> that boy died so they could cash in a month insurance policy and to cover up the fact that Rock Nation was ripping Megan away from 300 I guess nobody's paying attention to the fact that complete control of Megan The Stallion's career was taken over right after Takeoff died and the Prince family were forced to leverage and let her go, even though they did not want to. Ooh. Isn't that interesting? Houston politics. Allegedly, taking Pimp C wasn't bad enough. You just want to go down there and you want to just Remove all of the balls from every real f gangster in Houston. Why the f did that house burn up? Who the f goes to their childhood house for a visit and the sh goes up in flames? That was very weird. The next day, and, and within the, a week. And the, no, the next day. The next day. And, and still. No real investigation on how the house just went up in flames. Man. I guess they paid y'all off. Like they paid y'all off for that astral world. So, let me hmm. ask you. Texas um, politics. Yeah, Texas politics, man. This is, <sighs> yeah, this is. Can you drive into Houston and old fucking Sam Houston sitting there? You can hear him talking. Got, every time I drive past Sam Houston on 45, you know what I hear when I see him? That's all I hear. Uh, the warden of the South. Yeah. Sitting there looking down on everybody. Yeah. They made a big deal over Robin E. Lee. Imagine what they would do if you tried to take down old Sam Houston. Come on now. It'd be a problem. It'd be, it'd be carnage. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a problem. <laughs> Sam Houston there ain't gonna stay there. So Jack, another- Every time I drive past, that's all I hear. Just Nick. <laughs> <laughs> now, another thing that, of course, you spoke on last time was, and at the time it happened, uh, was a slap by Will Smith to Chris Rock. We spoke uh -huh. on it. But since then, uh -huh. uh, Jada Pinkett has written a book. 
mm-hmm. where she reveals that multiple times she tried to commit suicide. Yeah. Not saying exactly what the reason was. I don't but know why she keeps trying. She just, just get it done. Sh- um, that, that, don't be bad at everything. Shit. Yeah. You was an all right actress. You a terrible wife. You a bad mother. He's a f- it- who knew that your husband was doing things to boys and did stuff to your son, and you ain't do shit about it. But I told me everything. Mm. Uh, they're 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 good friend who. But told me, <laughs> Jay. He told me that you knew Will was in your chair. Yes, he did. Wonder why he left that out of his Tasha K interview. Yeah. yeah like, in that interview, he, he said a lot. He said a lot. He said everything but the thing that was important. That he know that Will Smith, Jaden, he raped Bashir and he need Mills, and you know it, Bilal. Now I'm getting no f- how far in the desert you run. You'll go from a Philly n- to a sand, but they'll still get you. He's Philly though, Jay. It's Philly. You know, f- <laughs> he meek milk. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he meek milk. I ain't calling him milk no more. That's milk. That's meek milk. Add it to the honeycomb. You got a you got a meal. So you believe the Dwayne Martin story that that could have. Of course, happened. everybody know that. Shit. Everybody knew they was and just ain't nobody know Dwayne was folding him over like that, taking him to Panatown. Yeah, that's that's and all these black is running around marrying these that's sitting there convincing other women to go chase a fag. Go get you. Look at my it isn't he? Can you imagine if he's told the truth about their relationships? I want you to meet my husband. He a fat. <laughs> Would you like to come over? I'll make cookies. <laughs> now, Jack, you know. Uh... That's what these is <laughs> do. <laughs> hey, young man, <laughs> come on over. My husband just wants to touch you for a little while on camera. I promise you, you won't feel a thing. Sniff this. <laughs> okay. So, I, 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 really? Yeah. <laughs> you stand on red carpets with the and you sell an image of lies. Then you influence the public and ask the public to covet and want your life. Who wants? Who wants that? Who jealous of that? A bunch of whack too afraid to find a real man in real love. So you marry a get for a Birkin bag. And then turn your head while he f***ing a bunch of kids. I don't feel sorry for none of you. Don't y'all sit around writing your books. Telling your sob stories. He was a f- going in. You should have known he was going to be a f- You married that f- 